What is one trade you would like the Niners to make at the deadline, which is like in five days? Trade Grant Cohn. <laughs> oh my I don't think you're going to get much from me. Uh, a couple of guys I, I've just been looking at, depending on price, uh, I, I think the 49ers should stay on, on the cheaper side instead of uh, maneuver cap space around. But uh, Shalik Calhoun and John Simon are two guys they just saw last week new, with New England, depending on how New England handles it. Uh, Calhoun, I think, is a, a buy low option at defensive end. And then I said last week, mm-hmm. Brian Poole. I, I like Brian Poole. I read today that he has no offers in on him so far. I don't know why. He's a solid slot corner, and he's a really good blitzer. Sala loves to blitz the nickel corner. And uh, then Mackenzie Alexander is a, a, a cheap outside corner that – is a worth a flyer. I mean, if it's if it's simply just swap Pettis for Mackenzie Alexander, the Bengals wouldn't do that, but I'm sure the Niners would if you swap a six or a seven for him. <laughs> I think that's worth it. Okay. Man, these trades are tough. Especially, well, let's see. We talked about it last week. Hey, if they win, they're definitely going to be more so buyers than sellers. So right. I'd say, well, what is it they need? It's it's pass rush, right? So, I mean, <laughs> that's why they got Jordan Willis. So it's kind of hard to envision who they're really going to get there. The only, only two million around you're only sitting around two million cap space and stuff like that yeah Goopy duty Jordan like, Willis <laughs> yeah which is so funny to me it's like you you, you went after Jordan Willis because I'm sure nobody knew he's on the market but you couldn't even touch Marcus Golden who at least has you know some talent capability I don't know that's why I have no hope I have no hope for these guys being active you know I talked about it yesterday on my, on my article I really have no even if they win sure it's like more viable but I have I have no hope for these guys in getting Anything. The only one really I would want to see is center. Even though Grasu played well last week, I still wouldn't trust that. I and mean, then you got Richburg coming back, but yeah, you got him coming back until how long he gets back on the shelf again? What week sixteen? So I mean, I think center or pass rush is your top ones you're looking for. And at this point, you know, no one's really selling centers unless maybe you're the Rams, Alex Mack. But then you know, once again, cap hit. Uh, and then who's selling pass rushes these days? I mean, Carlos Dunlap. Maybe you could have got him, but you said nah. So I kind of like Grasu actually. That's my hot take. I think he's kind of good, but maybe not. Leo. Willis is going to get a sack on Sunday, and we're all <laughs> going to laugh about it. We're just going to laugh about it. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's, it's no, not. It's not. Probably, no. probably not going to happen. No. But I'll I look at pass rushers because with this current the current team, despite any more injuries or whatever may go on, this current team, I think they're good enough to compete with every team in the NFC as well as every team in the AFC despite the Chiefs. If you're going to beat the Chiefs, I fully believe they need another pass rusher. You're not getting Nick Bosa back, and who knows with D Ford if you get him back, I you, may not, Ford. you may you may put him on the shelf again if you get him back. So uh, that's just a weird thing going on there. I, I look at Marcus Golden and Griffin. They both went for a six round pick. Don't ask me about the cap, how they could fit it in, but I would like Ryan Kerrigan from Washington. That that's a guy with a high motor. He's imagine a lineup with Hyder. Uh, Armstead, Kinlaw, and Kerrigan. That's pretty solid on third downs to take offenses off the field. So, like I said, don't ask me how they fit that cap. I'm not prog, so I have no clue. But if they wanted to get that deal done, they would be able to get it done. Yep. I'm going to go with pretty much the same thing that pretty much, I think everybody else has said. And then I'm going to go with a, a pass rusher as well. I like the Kerrigan thing from Leo. That's a, that's a good one right there. Uh, so I'm going either pass rusher or, you know, maybe even draft uh, – making a trade, get rid of, of one of these high-priced guys that isn't playing for, for a pick or two. That's kind of, kind of where I am. You okay, Greg? Or, or, or we can go big yeah. and trade – or we can go big and trade Jimmy for Matt Stafford. That's what he was waiting for. That's no. what it is. No, I was totally what? unaware that, that, that Everson Griffin was traded to the Lions. You said that. I was like, wait a second. What? I looked it up. Yeah. The Lions traded for him? Why? Yeah. Do they have any wins? Three and three. There are half three back of the lot of the Niners hey, for a wild card spot. Isn't that match? That's Matt Patricia's what third year and now he See, has to. They have to go for it. Dude, the Lions got Everson Griffin for a conditional 2021 sixth round pick. I mean, why didn't the Niners do that? He had yeah. eight and a half sacks two years ago. Uh, last year he had eight sacks last year, and he has two and a half sacks this year. A sixth round pick. Come on. Okay, so I guess that's not going to happen. If Ryan Kerrigan, they get him great. What I would say is trade Jimmy Ward. Ah, trade Jimmy Ward. $10 million, $10 million. I mean, you can't do anything with that. The way I look at it is you trade Jimmy Ward, you create $10 million in cap space, you could get another guy. Maybe the Niners didn't get Everson Griffin because they didn't have the cap space, right? They have like $100,000 in cap space and he needs 
$5 million. Well, you trade Jimmy Ward, you get a little up. Oh, we lost. We just it. traded Jack Hammer. Jack Hammer, we got a conditional <laughs> six. We just traded him. <laughs> we got a conditional six. The Niners get hey, Ryan don't you undervalue Jack. We got Jack for a solid fourth, not a conditional. Yo. How, how rude of you. I'm sorry. All right, so I, I was going to say trade for Everson Griffin. That did, That's not available. Just trade Jimmy Ward. I, I mean, I, I, you say, like, the Niners need depth. They can get depth by creating $10 million in cap space and getting other players. I like Tavarius Moore. I like mm-hmm. this whole youth movement they're doing at, in the secondary. I think the, the secondary of Sherman, Tart, and Ward was overrated um, because people are emotionally attached to them. Tart and Ward have been here a long time. Sherman used to be good. It was a great front seven. Now – you got a whole, you got a whole new guys back there, and they're doing great. The future's ahead of them. I'd like to see Tavarius Moore as the free safety of this team for a long, long time. I'm getting ahead of myself though, and I think some of you guys are getting turned off, but I don't care because it's my time. And I say trade Jimmy Ward, which brings us into the next topic. Who is who? one player? Yeah, I don't care. I don't know. Uh, I don't someone care. likes. Does anyone uh, like him? Did the Niners bid against themselves when they gave him this twenty-eight million dollar contract, no, or were there other teams that supposedly liked the Raiders offered more, but he wanted to stay oh, with the Raiders? Right. Why they trade him the Raiders? Hey. Raiders could use safety. Mike, uh, what do you want? Yeah. Marshall, I think they're happy. He, I was going to say, huh? I think they're happy he didn't accept. I mean. Nah, Jimmy Ward looked good with Raiders defense, too. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> he was Some people good. want him. People seem to like him. I don't know. All right. <laughs> seem to like him. I don't, I don't know. know. Uh, he's been on this team forever. And I like plays that Jimmy Ward has made. I don't know. He, he's made some plays in the locker room by hobbling and grabbing a Gatorade. <laughs> He's decent. He's not a bad player. He's just not worth $10 million. And this team's up against the cap crates on.